Welcome to another Don't Worry About the Government vodcast. Joe joins us. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? Uh, not much. Chris and I talked about Ron Paul, and now it's time to talk about Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. So, uh, Obama for America releases an ad today about how uh, Mitt Romney and his, what's the nice term for vulture capitalists, uh, went into a steel... Vampire. Uh, I believe the term is vampire. Yeah, they, they, they got away from vulture and are now on vampire capitalism. Uh, they destroyed a steel mill, and it takes six minutes for us to understand that these people's lives are ruined and they hate Mitt Romney. So, first question. Is this well, ad... They, they, fa yeah? Uh, well, all right. Is, is the ad fair? Well, they also released a two-minute version for those of us with no attention spans, like... Oh, is that what you watched? Um, oh, I watched six minutes. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, okay. Um, well, this is just rehashing what what uh, what Newt Gingrich did in the campaign. I mean, Gingrich paved the way. He was like, "Let's paint Romney as a as a, a total vulture capitalist." And the Obama camp went even further with this in a way because they had the quote of the uh, the steel worker likening Mitt Romney to a vampire. So they were like, "Hey, let's run with this. Vampires are no longer popular in America." We saw with the open <laughs> the bad opening Johnny Depp had. Only 28 million. It's yeah, just not well, a thing I mean, that that's, that's partially because of the event. We don't want a vampire to be president. Yeah, okay. Uh, right. Don't you think America that the vampire wants, line is fed to them a, a little bit, though? Yeah, America wants a superhero or a team of superheroes, not a vampire. That is that is what we that, know from if, the box If we office. base things off of uh, the box office. So soon they might want pregnant women if what to expect when you're expecting does well. And, and Batman. They want Batman. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, Batman would be an awful I, president. But that aside, Chris, is the ad fair? Um, I gotta push against the vampire thing a little bit. I think I think Vulture's more <laughs> yeah, apt. Yeah, let's for focus on that. <laughs> No, no, I think the vulture thing's more apt, though, because here's the key part of it. When Rom when bank capital or companies like that come in and take over these companies, it's because they're not solvent within their present model. Now, the thing that they do that's so shitty is that they go in and say, okay, we need to make as much profit as possible, and we are going to raid the pension funds and, you know, sort of the, the benefits packages that we had given employees. So that's bullshit. Um... I mean, I guess it's fair on that level. I think it's sort of – it's weird to try to extend that and say, well, you know how Mitt Romney ran Bain Capital? That's how he's going to run the entire economy. That's kind of a okay, weird so extension. Okay, so then, then let's go a different direction. So is this whole Mitt Romney is a bully thing fair? Because that's the whole thing too, right? I mean this is a question of character. If this is a guy – who pins people down and cuts their hair while they're crying. This is a guy who takes people's pensions away when they're crying. I mean, does this say something about the guy's he character? He his dog to the roof. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, at what point does this actually have a broader picture of who he would be as a president? I don't think he's offered a very compelling narrative as to why he's not the bully that he was, he was when he was a child. Um, all the best he's offered is, well, you know, I met Anne and then I changed. But it doesn't really seem like he changed. It seems like how Bane ran, to your point, is predatory. It seems like this guy doesn't seem to really care about other people. And, and it's something that the Romney campaign's cued in on, too, because they've run ads where, like, Mitt Romney, like, put out, like, sort of an APB to try to rescue one of his co-workers' kids. Like, his one of his co-workers' daughters went missing, and Mitt Romney came in and kind of, you know, organized the team and saved the day. They're trying to bridge the empathy gap, but I think the bullying stuff is a problem for him. Yeah. So, this so, then why is this, so then why does this... Uh, ad not show you how he would be as president then if this is how he is if he only cares about businesses and doesn't care about people and their pensions why would he do anything differently as president just because he's president no. Oh, well, no, I, I think uh, that that's Scott. right. I, I mean, it's just that they keep saying the Romney economy, and I don't think that the president ultimately has that much management over the economy. It's not like Romney can come in and take over all these companies and then gut their pension plans. Be well, interesting that, if you tried to thing, propose that's that. The thing about what <laughs> That'd be weird. That's the thing about what, what Bain Capital does, because Romney, of course, fired back with, a, with an example of a company that, that Bain Capital ostensibly saved, although it doesn't actually mention – uh, the, the Romney's ad doesn't mention Bain Capital and also doesn't mention the fact that that 
that industry, another steel mill, uh, got like $37 million in in. Uh, so Joe's referring subsidies. to so, an ad that the Romney campaign put out basically saying, look, no, they did good things. What's really funny to me also in the ad that you're referring to is that they don't mention Bain coming in or anything like They just talk about really? how this company is good. It's really a pro-Romney, yeah. pro-Bain ad. And, and, and this how, is a pro-the-company people involved. work at ad. Yeah. Very strange. Well, I, I think, yeah, I think they've realized that people don't actually like what Bain Capital does. They're trying to paint Romney as an effective business manager without sort of talking about what, what Bain actually did. I mean, that's the thing. And, and this is why I think that it's fair that Obama's camp is doing what they're doing is that uh, Romney's point is, you know, I'm a private sector guy and I know the economy and I know business. But if you actually look at, at what Bain does, what they do is they – they streamline things and make things more efficient in so much as they take money and accrue it to a very small number of people and weed out companies that might have inefficiencies. But in the process, they lay off tons and tons of people in many cases. And so it's like this is not the message that America wants to, see, wants to hear when we have the kinds of income inequality and the kinds of unemployment that we have. So you know, does that one key thing, too, that the – you let that one key thing that the Obama and Romney campaigns both don't want to talk about, which is that the initial investment money they get with a big tax break from the government. So we're basically paying for companies like Bain Capital to do what they do. Oh, and also one more thing. Both of these ad feature like steel mills. Nobody – like – there aren't any steel mills in America anymore. I mean, this is these are like the manufacturing jobs have been completely gutted. I mean, these are these are just this is not where the economy is anymore. Eighty. I mean, it's, America is a service economy, so it's sort of like pining for glory days that no longer exist by sort of focusing on 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 steel mills and sort of blue collar manufacturing jobs that are just totally fleeing the country and have been for thirty years. So the verdict Americans is Americans aren't keen on being a service economy, though. So the verdict is no. it's a fair ad. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. What, 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 I want to know what's stopping you from just saying straight up this no is a fair ad. ad is, yeah. no, no political ad is fair and no discussion of how the economy should be or how each guy would handle the economy can be whittled down to a one-minute ad or a two-minute ad or a six-minute ad. But I think it is fair to talk about this stuff and, and Romney's record at Bain Capital, either positive or negative. I think that's legit for, uh, for what he would be as president. All right, Chris, where can they find us? They can find us at don'tworry.tv. They can follow us at DWATG on the Twitter, and they can go to facebook.com slash DWATG. And what if they want to call and us? And if they want to call us, where? <laughs> oh, 386-24-DWATG. That's our number. All right, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment below. Bye-bye.